Hi, my name is Amina. This is my friend Tina, and I'm interviewing her today. She is a professional model, dancer, aspiring actress, and currently a law student in London. Born and brought up in Toronto, you've lived in Las Vegas, DC, and London. Which of those cities is your favorite, or what's your favorite thing about each city? Toronto is probably the most, um, apart from London, really colourful. You get all kinds of freaks and <laughs> all kinds of people there, but everyone just like lives amongst each other. Um, it's so diverse. Um, it's like London in a lot of ways, but it's also very different. They, they still have the Canadian culture. They still are very proud of who they are. Um, they hate when they're called American. <laughs> Las Vegas uh, was so, so different. I don't consider it as a real city because it's 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 very much all about the the industry, the entertainment industry. So people, it's kind of like you have to have a fake smile on your face no matter what all the time. It's all just casinos, clubs, and that's it. But the weather is gorgeous. Um, it's good to visit. Definitely good to visit. Different kind of place to live. But I I definitely learned the most. Um, I've had to interact with people working there. Atmosphere modeling, and the modeling industry there is very different from anywhere else. DC is so corporate. <laughs> I haven't lived here that long, but I do come here now and then. And it's, I think people are more um, understated when they're out. They don't dress so flashy. They don't really, they don't really say too much or what they're thinking. It's, it's more of a business kind of city. But then, yeah, like very politically right. Correct. And you know, all your streets are named after things like constitution. <laughs> and um, everything to do with the, the government, it's kind of cool. London is my favourite city currently because um, it's so cosmopolitan, it's so diverse but it's, it's also European and um, lifestyle there is just uncomfortable to anywhere else. It's so expensive, it's the most expensive place I've ever lived but that um, motivates me to want to work harder and strive because if you make it in an expensive city, you've made it everywhere. You're going to become a lawyer eventually, mm -hmm. but if you could have any occupation in the world, what would it be? I'm probably an actress. I love acting. It's just a fire, a passion of mine. And I love law too, so I do both. <laughs> you love what? Law. What's that? To practice law. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. um, I thought you were saying lore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Name your top three favorite movies of all time. Um, Casino. I love Casino. Mm. Um, with Robert De Niro, Sharon Stone, um, Al Pacino. Really nice. I'll have to watch it. Um, oh no, Al Pacino isn't in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in a bit. Yeah, but it has Robert De Niro, Sharon Stone. I need to know the other two. Love The Godfather. All three of them I just love. Part two, obviously, my favourite. And part one, actually. Um, I love gangster films, violent films. And what else do I love? Um, probably the, the Dark Crystal. Because <laughs> it's one of my childhood favorites. Like, who's your favorite movie director? Scorsese, who directed uh, Casino. Oh, okay. I, I love Martin Scorsese. And favorite. what do you think of like old movies compared to um, now? Like, do you prefer the older style movies or the new style? Uh, I love. I love the new style if they kind of represent the old style. Like Casino was so well executed, it's like an old movie because it's just so well done. And there's just so much more. I feel like when I watch old movies, it's more talent. It's just it keeps you. There's more on like the story. Edge. Yeah, there's more character. There's more color. And today, a lot of the movies just kind of follow a trend, or they're very generic. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I love the um, the magic of old movies. What is your ethnicity originally? Because I'm sure some people are wondering. Um, I'm Asian Spanish. Next. <laughs> okay, and how does the child Tina compare with the Tina that we know today? Um, child Tina was quite a tyrant <laughs> and really mischievous and um, ornery. <laughs> I always like to challenge uh, my parents and authority. And I was also, well, as most children are, they well, when they go into like teen years, insecure. And, I mean, I went to like five different high schools. Being a teenager was probably the worst time of my life. Me I'm too. sure I was also like <laughs> not physically bullied, but like verbally. Yeah, me too. Bullied a lot. And I think that's a really tough time in every girl's life because you're not secure with yourself. You are trying to fit in somewhere. You're trying to belong, and then you realize when you get out of high school, all those girls 
those bitches don't matter. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and you just do you and um, try to make yourself happy and do whatever, uh, do whatever you can do to make yourself happy and you'll attract the right kind of people and you'll meet the right kind of friends. Okay, so since you model, can you teach me some poses and some poses so the audience can learn how to model and like how to pose for Facebook? You sure. Know? Well, it depends on what you're modeling, right? Uh, when you're modeling clothes for a company, you usually have to make sure that everything's shown. It's usually a lot of straight on. It's not going to be like avant-garde or haute couture where you're kind of like just playing with the clothes, but you've got to make sure that you're just so it's more boring if you do that. So you want to be able to show all the details. And, um, well, just in general, when you pose, posing, a lot of it is almost like you're dancing, I feel, but you're, you're stopping, you're pausing, so the photographer can get shot. Mm -hmm. So if it was like fast forward, it's, it's almost going to look like, like this, <laughs> 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 like this, and it's kind of like, a lot of it is weight shifting, so you're going to just kind of play around with things. Nothing is ever going to be like straight on unless it's like a power shot. Everything that you touch, your hands need to be soft, so you're not like... <laughs> so not like this. <laughs> like, like this and like this. Your hands have to be really relaxed, so it looks really natural and you don't like, um, you don't just stretch. So what were you talking about, like it has to be like, like weirder angles or better? The like, general um, rule, especially with fashion modeling, is that you've got to um, contort your body in such a way where you look good, you're, making, you're creating lines and shapes and it's usually very uncomfortable. And they usually say the more uncomfortable the pose, the better the shot. Mm -hmm. So like sometimes I, I'll just go on, like on one foot okay. and go like this and it'll be really uncomfortable to hold. <laughs> <laughs> but, but then it will work out, you know what I mean? So usually if it's really uncomfortable, your body's doing something kind of like creating art. That's what I look at it like. Like angles. And yeah, like, angles and yeah. shapes. Because the less you do, the more straight your body is just going to be there and just be like boring. Okay, well thanks for the lesson. And now Facebook, you better watch out because <laughs> I'm going to be using those posters. Okay, so let's practice with you. And so how do you have Seven, three, two. <laughs> oh, sorry, we were just practicing the poses.